Now, like any coach, Marquette Steve Wojciechowski loves to win. His love for children and his respect for our military, though, has led him into a new competition. Our Tom Pippins goes beyond the game. Steve Wojciechowski has always been a fierce competitor. First as a player, now as the Golden Eagles head coach. He is very much in his element. But driving a race car? First time at a racetrack in a race car. And uh, probably the first time and maybe the only time I'll get a car over 100. Marquette's coach is one of 48 Division I coaches across the country who are competing in online voting to raise money for charities of their choosing. This year, the coaches bravely stepped off the court and into an Infinity Q50 for a time trial battle. It was an incredible experience. Your competitive juices get going. You know, it took me maybe a lap to figure out, you know, is this really a smart thing to be doing? And then once my lead foot kicked in and, and we were able to hit uh, triple digits there on the racetrack. Wojo took coaching well. He had the fastest time among several others, topping off at 120 miles per hour. Steve chose his charity based on the tremendous respect he has for the men and women who serve our country. A certain Packers quarterback had a hand in leading Wojo to his charity of choice. What are you guys doing? We're talking about school. Talking about oh my gosh. Watching TV one day and I saw uh, Aaron Rodgers and, uh, on his commercial and talk about camp hometown heroes and one of our student managers, Ryan Hooper, was in the Army. So I texted him right away and I said, do you know anything about this camp that supports uh, the children of fa our fallen military heroes. Well, when I got here, I was looking for a way to still be able to serve my country as I felt kind of a void of not being able to do so. Like Wojo, Ryan had seen the Aaron Rodgers commercial. He emailed Camp Hometown Heroes. The next thing he knew, he was a camp counselor. The kids, they, the way they interact with each other and they all dealt with the same kind of hardship of losing a loved one and how they bond and everything. And we have just great grief counselors who uh, do just a great job with them. And the kids make great strides in their healing process. I'm just so glad and honored that he would take my word for it and choose Camp Hometown Heroes. Our kids need help. And so um, it's a no brainer to me to try to support this, this cause to help these kids deal with um, the ultimate sacrifice that their parent had made. Those words and the coach's commitment touched the heart of Deb Paschke, Camp Hometown Heroes Executive Director. For somebody like him to draw attention, I mean, heaven knows the money is important, yes, but the attention he's bringing to us, the promotion, is amazing. I'm representing these kids, and so if you choose to take time each day to vote for me, it's truly a vote for these kids who are dealing with uh, something you wouldn't want anyone to have to deal with. Coach Wojo has advanced to the round of 16. He's raised $10,000 for the cause. If he can get to the finish line, Camp Hometown Heroes will be awarded 100000 You can vote once a day, every day. Just go to the Camp Hometown Heroes Facebook page. You want to see how, you, how well you can do, and you always want to try to do your best. Give him a round, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Tom Pippins, Fox 6 Sports. Coach Wojo and his Golden Eagles are off until Saturday afternoon when they hope to race to victory at DePaul. For information on our, uh, how you want to vote for Wojo and the kids' camp hometown heroes, we have that on fox6now.com for you.